I was told by the dealer that if I didn't buy it from them, that it really wasn't an authentic Steinway, that it was a Stein was. There's a lot of uh, chatter about, um, you know, if you replace the soundboard on Steinway, it's not a Steinway anymore. First thing you're, most consumers will ask, was it still a Steinway? Well, that, that's a skeptical thing people might think. When I first started looking at pianos and I visited the Steinway Gallery, one of the things that came up was whether a used piano was going to be a genuine Steinway or whether it had been rebuilt and it wasn't a Steinway, as they called it rather uh, conceitedly, a Stein was. I thought, well, okay, let, let's, let's talk about this a bit. If you're rebuilding an instrument and you're using genuine Steinway parts, which this piano has, it has a German Steinway action, it has New York Steinway hammers, it has the same strings, the same pins, everything that is on a Steinway. You wouldn't say, I'm rebuilding a car and I'm going to put in original parts and then not call it an original car. Steinway and Sons have a very specific tone. Their resonance is unique. The resonance of the piano, the clarity of the piano, the tonal qualities and personality of the piano of Steinways sound like Steinways. Just like a Bosendorf or a Yamaha might have its own color palette. So when you read all the nuts and bolts about how Linda Blad Piano takes meticulous care in restoring this piano to its original splendor, that's all neat. But all I care about is the way the piano sounds. And all Steinway originally cared about in 1924 was that all those patents, all those mechanics, all those parts, that soundboard, the diaphragmatic way it's cut, that was all to do one thing, to produce a world-class tone that is uniquely Steinway. I want to make sure we welcome our new colleague, Paul Lindeblad, Todd Lindeblad, and Chad Tomlin from the Lindeblad Piano Restoration Company. These fine men were the geniuses that found them all across America, restored them to perfect condition, and personally deliver them to us. Lindblad did the pin block, they did new action, new soundboard. They basically restored this 1912 piano from scratch. It was a, a complete rebuild, and it's just incredible. I gotta find some more superlatives, you know, incredible, great, amazing. <laughs> I can say now, having inspected it by not just one registered piano technician, but two, this is, there's no doubt in my mind, this is an authentic Steinway. There should be no doubt. It, it is a Steinway just brought back to its original beauty. My piano is not a Steinway. It's a Steinway in every way, shape, or form. I'm a banker by trade, very, very particular about um, everything that I purchase that's on a high end. You guys hired a guy from Steinway who did soundboards and used the same wood and the same process uh, from the same source. I think what we're witnessing here is the combination of a very good instrument which had the good fortune of being worked upon by somebody who knows their craft, because a lot depends on, some, on the technician who does, it's not really tuning, it's really about the rebuilding and the voicing and the regulation. An hour before we played this piano at Lindeblad Studios, we were playing a brand new Concert Grand Nine Foot Steinway piano in Paramus, New Jersey at the Steinway Studios. All the pianists, um, 
felt like I did, that this piano had a lot more depth and was just actually far superior to the brand new piano. I don't have any concern whatsoever that this instrument is not a genuine Steinway. It is a genuine Steinway. There's no doubt in my mind this is an authentic Steinway. If it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. I have a true Steinway. The, the marketing confusion out there about it's not really a Steinway anymore, that's absolutely ridiculous. But how do you know? You play the piano. You hear the tone of the piano. It sounds like a 1924 Steinway & Sons Model B because it's a Steinway & Sons 1924 Model B. There's no doubt about it. And I never thought I would be that guy with a Steinway B from 1924 in my living room, but thanks to Linda Blatt Piano, I am.